don't, don't call me Superman If you haven't found my What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here And as you guys know I had the video yesterday Hyping up, pumping up Talking about the whole new Radeon R9 Fury series of GPUs But of course on that day at AMD's press conference at E3 They did of course unveil the new R9 300 series of GPUs And look guys let's be honest It's kind of disappointing but uh, I'll get to it because there are positive aspects of this but firstly let's get into it now before I even start talking before I actually get into this whole R9 300 series of GPUs let me first clarify that all of these cards are rebrands literally all of them are rebranded GPUs so yeah that video I made a few like last week or something saying you know is it going to happen is the R200 series going to be rebranded into the R300 series yeah it was right so I'm not even going to bring up figures or stats or anything I'm just going to speak it to you guys because you pretty much know these GPUs already so first of all let's start off with the 390X it's a rebranded 290X same GPU and whatnot except it has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM uh, instead of 4 so as stock the reference 390X is supposedly having 8 gigs of GDDR5 RAM and it is actually coming at an MSRP or recommended retail price at $429 so that's actually more expensive than a 290X that you'll find on the market right now but I guess you get 8 gigs of RAM but besides the point let's keep going we've got 390 uh, that's based on Hawaii Pro the cut down version it's a rebranded 290 it's also got 8 gigs of RAM and it is coming out for $329 $100 cheaper than the 390X as I was saying you can get 290s right now in the United States for around three no not three 250 260 us dollars so yeah i mean it's more expensive but i guess with these lower rrps the lowest price that these cards will actually reach will obviously be lowered brought down and i guess that's just how things are going to go um when we go on with the r9 380 there's supposedly going to be two variants because the 380 is going to go up to four gigs of vram so you're going to have a two gig and a four gig version of course these are rebranded r9 285s so you do have gcn 1.2 you've got all that you know that really good color what was it like it's improved color performance or something there was this specific feature on the tonga chip and gcn 1.2 that made the 285 perform better than the 280 and the 280 regardless of being a weaker card and having less stream processors but anyway it's based on Tonga Pro 1792 SPs 256 bit memory bus and it's actually going uh, for $199 so that's actually pretty good for a 285 or 380 whatever you want to call it $199 is decent and hopefully AMD come out with a 380X which should be the fully unlocked Tonga chip which is seen in the IMAX M295X because as you guys already know uh, Tonga Pro or the R9 285 uh, is a cut down version of the full Tonga chip the full Tonga chip is called the M295X on the mobile version on the mobile platform and it is yet to come to desktop so I assume that AMD will eventually bring it to the desktop and we will see that thing finally reach us and that'll probably go on for around 230 bucks it'll fill the gap next up we have the R7 370 now this of course is based on you know 7870 or actually wait hold on a minute because this seems to be quite interesting there's a bit of confusion as to whether this is based on Pitcairn XT so a rebranded 270 or if this is a rebranded 265 or a 7850 I believe what I'm reading right now is wrong and I do believe that this is actually a 270x rebrand or 270 rebrand or 7870 rebrand it's a rebrand of a rebrand it's it should have 1280 stream processors of up to 4 gigs of VRAM and it's gonna cost $149 which is pretty good now of course I'm not 100% sure on this so I may be wrong uh, this might actually be a 7850 or an R7265 uh, so that that would have a thousand and twenty four stream processors which would make it weaker than the 7870 or a 270 but I don't believe that is right I just think that what I'm reading right here is wrong so yeah don't worry about that guys uh, and last of all we have the R7360 uh, this is like a rebranded 260 or whatever. Two gigs of VRAM. It's gonna cost $109, so pretty much a hundred bucks. Pretty good. I mean, it's all. Most of these RRPs or all of these RRPs are cheaper than when they're rebrands or 
like the original card came out but at the same time man it's it's disappointing but look there's a reason AMD literally cannot bring you know Fiji and HBM to all of the new cards look at the end of the day guys they just don't have enough R&D money to do that I mean they're running a CPU business they're running a GPU business they're competing against Intel and they're competing against Nvidia uh, they don't have a lot of profit like a lot of money and they're trying to split those assets that cash into two different like massive streams it's tough for them so yeah sure it's disappointing for us but at the same time Fiji was it was a pretty big launch, man. I mean, Fury R9 Nano, Fury X, and what was the other one? Uh, Fury X2, the bloody dual GPU one. Dual GPU, sorry. Someone complained when I said dual. I don't know. But um, yeah, they came out with four pretty big cards, man. I mean, at some pretty competitive price points. So, look, we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, sure, this R9 300 series was a bit of a disappointment. But at the same time, the pricing is pretty decent. To be honest, I mean, these are RRP, so you'll see the prices drop even further below this. So yeah, for now, we're just going to have to deal with it. So of course, guys, comment down below, tell me what you think. And of course, for more things AMD, GPU related, uh, NVIDIA GPUs, Intel, stay tuned with the big K, Cobb 360. Thank you.